Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 120S-14IAP. The model name would be 81A5. Those information can be found on the bottom of the laptop on the bottom sticker right over here. Now in this video I'm going to go over with a few issues that, not issue, complication that we get with the client when they come in with this laptop. These laptops are really low grade laptop. Pretty much I wouldn't call them a laptop, I would call them a tablet with a big screen and a keyboard built in. The reason is because everything in here is soldered on the board, the RAMs, the storage, everything is soldered and they do come with a 32 gig storage. Some of them they come with a 64 gig storage and 2 gig RAM. So pretty much I went I made a video show you guys about regarding the RAM upgrading issues. Now I'm gonna cover up the hard drive, the solid state drive in here, how you can upgrade, what are the possibilities and what are the fake, um, pretty much I see another video that they say, okay, you know, you know what, you can put the jack and it will work. I'm going to go over those, showing you guys why it's not going to work and what are the only options that you have. Before I say anything else, so let's get into it and let's open it up first. On the bottom of the laptop, make sure you power up completely. You're going to see a whole bunch of screws. Probably you don't have to do it, I'm doing it so you guys can see, get an idea, but I'm sure you're not going to do it by yourself, and technician has to do the following, what I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to grab an iFixit screwdriver set, we're going to grab a torque number 5, and a Phillips number 0. We want to grab an opening tool, for the opening tool I'm going to be using a guitar pick, and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening covers or cases. We're going to remove all the screws on the bottom of the uh, laptop, all the Screws are the same size and height, so no worry about mismatching this. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos helping you guys to understand more and do your own service upgrades, and you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. It would be a great motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and show you guys what I'm showing about, about to show you guys. Alright, once all the screws are removed, we're going to remove the bottom cover by sticking the opening tool between the top and the bottom case right there. And now what we're going to do, we just want to twist it all around in the front and work yourself toward the side, toward the back corner. Right there. We want to do on the other side, same thing. And the bottom case should come out very easy. Once we remove the bottom case, we're going to see the big huge battery and a tiny miserable motherboard by the way here with no fan or anything. The only thing det detachable here is a Wi-Fi board which is right over here. After that there's nothing else that you can detach from here. There's a space for M.2 right here but the jack is not uh, installed. I'm going to go over this because I see a video people saw that M.2 jack and they show that oh look it worked. But they actually never show you the working, the window that install pretty much anything like that. And I'll explain why it's not going to work. First thing first, I'm going to remove the battery by disconnecting, pulling this cable backward. We're going to remove this heat spreader right there first by removing a few screws all around it and three screws in the middle. And there we have. So I went over of the RAM, RAMs are soldered on the board, and this one right here, that's your hard drive right there. This, I will not call a solid state drive, it is kind of solid state drive, it is a solid state drive, but there is no DRAM cache or anything in here, it, this is just simply an EMMC chip, which is a storage chip, which is not as fast as a SATA 3 or anything like that. So this one comes with a 32 gig. You can, in order to upgrade the uh, storage for this one, you have to take it to a technician. They have to do something called a reballing. They put a uh, flux underneath, they heat it up, and they lift up this chip, and they can replace it with a uh, model that is compatible with this one, which will be something like this, but this one is not compatible, it's kind of bigger. But there's a same size with a base on the model. You can grab it, there's a soldering balls underneath. It can be soldered right over on top. You can go with a 128 gig, 256 gig EMMC chip right here. 
That's one option. And now, regarding those people that keep saying that install an M.2 jack right here and it's gonna work, it's not gonna work because of the few reasons. There's many few other component essential for this part to work. Transistors, capacitors, and many are. And after all those, you need a right firmware on the BIOS, which is this one right here, to be able to make this work. So it's not just simply plugging the jack and it's gonna work. There's many other component, firmware issue, BIOS issue that it's you have to face. That's why they don't install the jack in here. So that's it. The only option you get is to upgrade your EMMC chip to a higher capacity, but you will need somebody to do a reballing for you. All right, let's talk in, let's put it back together. So grab the heat spreader, bring it over evenly right on top. Align it, put the three screws in the middle and the black screws all around it. All right, now last thing would be to grab the battery cable, straight in, push in and snug in the cables. Again, I hope you guys understood the reason why you can't upgrade the RAM or hard drive easily at home. And that's why I'll open this laptop and show you guys because people keep saying, insisting that they should be able to upgrade. And the last thing would be to just put the bottom screws. If you guys have any question or other requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them and help you guys out in the comment area. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the screws on the bottom.